Hello everybody, it's so lovely to see you today. Um, this is another instalment of our uh, nappy chat and we have another beautiful mum who is going to introduce herself now and tell us all about her little boy. So I won't um, steal her thunder. Do you want to just jump in and tell us all about yourself and um, your family? Sure, so my name is Aria and my little one is Carlo. He is a heart bird, so it was a bit of a surprise that we had him day one of lockdown and here we are doing really well at home. So, yeah, that's us. <laughs> um, so what was it like having a newborn in lockdown? Was it kind of cool in the way that uh, you had your partner home and you could spend heaps of quality time together? Or what was it like for you? Like, were you in hospital a lot or...? Uh, we spent the first three weeks of Carlo's life in hospital, but we were actually there a week before he was born as well, just in case I went into labour early. Okay. And we, yeah, it was weird because of COVID, like we couldn't actually see each other. So we, Josh and I had to take turns going in to see Carlo. So really the first three weeks of parenthood was solo <laughs> and very interesting. Um, very hands off as well, which is not really what you expect for a first time parent. Yeah. Uh, but coming home, it was actually so great being in lockdown was the best because nobody could come and interrupt us and we could finally be a family and, you know, get to know what it was like to have a baby and see each other be a parent for the first time. So, yeah. yeah. It's been really great. We loved it. <laughs> um, you just seem like such a positive person to have gone through something that must be have been such an incredible journey. Um, and to th even think that you would contemplate using cloth nappies is just next level amazing. So did you start using them when you came home from hospital or did you wait a while and then you thought we'll start using cloth nappies or what was your journey at the start? So Caitlin and I are actually really good friends and she tried convincing me all throughout my pregnancy to go cloth and I was like, there is no way, not a chance, I'm ever going to be cleaning nappies. It just is disgusting. <laughs> Carlo's laughing in the background. <laughs> and when I came home and finally got to see the build-up of disposable nappies, I was so shocked. And they're so expensive to buy every week and a half or whatever. We were buying them about every week and a half and it's just ridiculous. And you're filling the rubbish bin. Like the bin was totally full of nappies plus extra rubbish, you know. It seemed ridiculous. So I was like, oh, Caitlin, tell me a bit more. <laughs> like, I know I've seen all of her videos and everything. And then I was like, okay, screw it. I'm just going to give it a go. I'll just try it out. So I bought three and I love them instantly. And they're so simple to clean. I was like, oh, this isn't so bad. So yeah, I've been hooked ever since. <laughs> just keep buying more and more. Um, so. And are you, are you using them um, just during the day and then doing a disposable at night? Or are you kind of using them interchangeably with disposables during the day? Or what's your kind of routine looking like at the moment? So first thing in the morning, he goes into a reusable. And we go through about three or four a day, depending, you know, what he's doing that day. <laughs> um, he has a reusable sometimes at night time, but most of the time he goes into a disposable at night time just because they're easier to change in the dark if anything happens. <laughs> um, occasionally he will wear one through the night and that's totally fine and we don't even add extra liners or anything. Um, but yeah, at the moment he's in uh, reusable, sorry, all day long and disposables at night time. Okay, and what kind of combo of booster pads are you using in his daytime nappies at the moment? I just buy the pack that has the bamboo and microfiber liners and that's just been golden for us so we just carry on with that I haven't tried anything else I haven't just tried using one or the other it's been both every time yeah and yeah we just love them and how long are they lasting for like before you need to change them so I feel like this sounds super neglectful but this is just how great the babies are he can stay in them for up to six hours and there's not a problem yeah so and after that point I only change it because I feel like you know it's probably time yeah. So, yeah, unless he does a poo and then we'll change that straight away. Right. Yeah, ages. <laughs> and you know how you said you're a bit put off with the whole pooey nappy thing at the start? Mm -hmm. um, how are you feeling about, about it now? And have you got like anything that you do um, specifically to kind of, you know, uh, make it less traumatic for you? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I find it totally fine. We don't do anything special. He, we like it. Once, he t- once I change his nappy, it goes straight into a bucket, just an empty bucket and sits there until I'm going to wash them. So every second day. Um, at that point, I will rinse them out under the tap, chuck them in for a quick wash and then do a full wash after that with the clothing and everything. Rinsing them out is not a big deal at all. Um, he has only been doing like breast milk poos, so that's been easy as to wash out. And he's only just started food, so last night he had his first yucky poo. <laughs> but that will still be fine to clean up. Like I'm not grossed out by that now. And I think easing into that with just the breast milk poo has been great. <laughs> um, um, I guess the thing is, is that you can always start using the disposable bamboo liners that we sell here. If the solid poo starts to get you know, to a point where you're feeling like it's quite a lot to clean the nappies. And I guess it really yeah. depends on what the consistency of his poo is like. Because sometimes you can just easily just plop it into the toilet and there isn't heaps of clean up. And then other times it can be a bit messy. And I guess it depends on what medication he's on and stuff like that as well. So, um, mm. yeah, it's one of those things. I think once you get over that initial, like, oh, I'm not sure about this, <laughs> it just becomes part of what you do. So have you got any tips for like parents who might be watching this and they've never used a cloth nappy like have you got any advice or anything that you'd love to share with them honestly just to give it a go it seems scary if you've never done it before but honestly these nappies just are incredible so yeah giving them a go you won't regret it you won't turn back and you'll just be totally hooked I'm sure of it (laughs) so not not really no other than just to give them a go because they're so simple to use uh they're great for traveling. Like honestly, everybody, whenever I go out, everybody's like, wow, you're so brave using reusables when you're out in public. I'm like, why would you use disposables out in public? These last so much longer. And they don't seep out into the clothes when he's like, you know, um, the buckle of his uh, car seat, sorry, squeezes all the moisture out of his disposable nappies. Ah. So going on the road trips in his reusables is great. So yeah, they're just a win all round for us. We love yeah. them and my husband. Have, have you got um, a favourite sassy pants nappy that you're really into at the moment? That's like the one that you always grab for in your stash? Oh, both of the fantail ones. I've got them in green and rust. <laughs> um, I, I actually looked at my um, stack of fantail ones today. Have you got the Velcro ones or the snap ones? Velcro. Yeah, because they're like, there's only about six left. And I'm just like, oh no, it's going to be the same saga as the Tuataras, I'm sure of it. When yeah. the Tuataras sold out every day, I've had people saying, when are the Tuataras and the bear hunts coming back? And I just have the sneaking feeling that I'm going to get the same problem with the um, fantails because people have adored them. And I love them so much that I couldn't decide when Kate designed them whether I wanted like the green or the rust. So I had to do both. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad you did. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Um, so really, really looking forward to um, following your journey as, um, you know, uh, you hopefully have more babies and hopefully one day um, you'll be able to come back to me and, and give me some more suggestions of some other great prints that you want to see so that I can bring you joy each day with the nappies <laughs> that you choose. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. And um, I hope that for new families who are watching this, that they'll be able to um, follow your journey and realize that uh, you know they're actually not as difficult as you make them out to be like when you're pregnant and you're thinking oh my gosh so much new information and I don't know what to do I think one of the things that I would say is just give them a go like even if you buy two and just give them a try see if they work for you and then if you love them then you can buy more but if not then you haven't kind of invested heaps and heaps of money feeling like you're pressured to do cloth if you don't you know and and I hate that idea of feeling guilty about it um so for me it's all about saying just do what works for you you know and give them a go and hopefully you'll love them (laughs) So it's been so lovely chatting with you. Thank you so much. No problem. Thanks for having us. And thank you so much for your gorgeous nappies. We love them. <laughs>